All right, so just to do this problem, you need to make sure that you understand what it's asking for. I think that's probably the, the thing that makes this most challenging as a word problem. But they provide the formula for us. You're basically just plugging in values into a formula. We're talking about when granular materials fall, they form conical piles or cone. And the angle of slope, this theta in the picture you have right here, is um, the angle that you get by measuring from the horizontal to the tip of the cone. And it's called the angle of repose. If you have height h and radius r, then the formula for that becomes theta is equal to the cotangent inverse of r over h. They give us a specific value of a um, height and a radius. So this is r here, and this is h here. So if r is 17 and h is um, 65, then we're going to plug in. Actually, I got that backwards. If um, the diameter, we've got to be careful here. Height is h. The diameter is the whole distance across is 65, which means that the radius is going to be half of that, one half of 65, or 32.5. So I'm going to plug in r is 32.5, and I'm going to plug in h is 17. Okay, so this says cotangent then of theta is equal to 32.5 over 17. Now the reason I'm converting this is because I don't have a cotangent inverse function on my calculator, so I need to do this in terms of a trig function that I do have that has the same range in its inverse function as cotangent. And recall that cotangent is from 0, well I'll put angles from 0 to pi. Okay, and now because the number on the right hand side is positive, I know the angle somewhere over here, um, the coordinates of that being x comma y, remember that cotangent is y, sorry, x over y. So we're going to let x equal 32.5 and y equal 17. And so then the radius will be the square root of 32.5 squared plus 17 squared which I go over to my calculator and plug that in. Take the square root of 32.5 squared plus 17 squared, and I get 36.6776. The more decimal places, the better in terms of accuracy. Now, what uh, other inverse function has the same domain or same range for its um, inverse function? as cotangent inverse, and the answer is cosine. So we're going to use cosine inverse. Cosine of theta, if this is x and this is y and this is r, we've got um, cosine is x over r, so that's going to be uh, 32.5 over 36.6776. So theta can be found by using the inverse cosine function, 32.5 over 36.6776 which I then go to my calculator and type that in. So do cosine inverse. Oops. Cosine inverse. I'm on my calculator. I'm sorry. can't see what I'm doing over here. But cosine inverse of 32.5 divided by 36.6776. Six, and I've got my calculator in degree mode because you'll notice I don't have it copied on the screen here but on this problem it's asking for the answer in degrees so I've converted my calculator into degree mode and now I hit enter and I get that this is 27.61 degrees now I strongly encourage you to go through and try this with a similar example so you can repeat the process that I just did uh, instead of just typing this number in